Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi, it's a pleasure to have you here. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, hello, Elmer. Welcome, Rodrigo. Welcome, Mr. Eduardo. It is a great pleasure for me to have you in class tonight. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening, good evening. How was your day, my dear students? I'm fine, thank you. You are fine. That is very good. I am very happy to know that. Well, let's work. Okay, we're going to start working today on let me see yesterday we started talking about schedules right we started talking about different schedules and things that you do every single day right we were practicing a little bit on schedules and we were practicing also a little bit on the prepositions of time at in and on right So, I hope everybody's doing fine. I have Jairo now, Rodrigo, Eduardo, Elmer, and Salvador. Okay, here I am going to share my presentation for all of you. So, yesterday we were talking about the prepositions at, in, and on, right? And we were discussing the uses of the different phrases, right? Here in the first examples that I am showing you, I have different forms of the sentences. Can you tell me the first example that I am presenting you? It says, I have a meeting. What is the first example that we have here? Me ayudan a leerlo? Hello, hello. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please, Salvador. I have a meeting eight, nueve, allá, I am. Okay, I have a meeting at 9 a.m., right? I have a okay. meeting at 9 a.m., right? Very okay, 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 good. teacher. Can you read it again? I have a meeting at 9 a.m. Leámoslo de nuevo, Salvador. I have a meeting at I 9 a.m. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. A.m., right? 9 a.m. Okay. The next one, number a two. 9 a.m. A.M. Okay. Right, A.M. Good. Number two, Elmer, go ahead. The shop closes at midnight. The shop closes at midnight. Closes. Okay. Very good. Eduardo, the next one. In the gym, uh, when home at lunch time. Okay, here you have Jane went home 
at lunch time. Very good job. The next one, let's go with Mr. Marvin. The microphone, Marvin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, in England, it often snow in December. In England, it often snows in December. Very good. Rodrigo, the next one. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Okay. Do you think, think, do you think we will go to Jupiter, Jupiter in the future? Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Can you repeat, please, Mr. Rodrigo? Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Do you think we'll, we will go to Jupiter in the future? Future, future. Future, future. Very good. The next one, Jairo, can you read the next one? There should be a lot of progress in the next century. There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Very good. Let's go with, let's see. Um, Eduardo, help me with the next one. Uh, do you work on the Monday? Do you work on Mondays? Do you work on Mondays? The next one, her birthday is on November 20. 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 And the last one, where will you be on New Year's Day? Where, where will, will you be? Where will New you Year's be one New Year's Day? Where will you be on New Year's on Day? New Year's Day. On New well, Year's where Day. Where will you be on New Year's Day? Where will you we be? Will you be one New Year's Day? Okay, you say where will where you be? You be? On New Year's Day. Uh, where well. will you be? Where will you be on New Year's Day? Okay, we are going to practice a little bit on these sentences that we have here. And let me just show them to you. We are going to go and practice a little bit on the sentences right here. Let me just open the exercise for you. <coughs> Chan, chan, chan. Here we go. Okay, let me share it. Let me share it with everybody. Here it is. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday we were practicing the different uses of at, in, and on. And we also practice on three specific words that do not use prepositions of time. Do you remember which words were they? Three specific words that do not use prepositions of time. That is early, late, and every day. Every day, right? We don't use prepositions with these ones. So in this case, I have this example and it says, do you go to bed late on weekends? Yes, I do. I go to bed 1 a.m. What is the preposition that is missing here? At. You go at. at. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> at 1 a.m. But I go to bed early. Weekdays. On. On, right? You say on weekdays. Do you study? At the afternoon. At the afternoon? Can you say that? Can you say at the afternoon? No. So you say? At 
in on. Yeah. What do you use with afternoon? A moment, please. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm on the, the I'm going to let, let me let me check the the, <laughs> the notes. <laughs> the note in the afternoon, right? Remember, the afternoon. you say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, right? No, I study in the morning. In the morning, right? I study in the morning, weekends. What do you use with weekends? On, At, on. in, or on? On weekends. On. On. on weekends. And I study the evening. At the evening. At the evening? Mm -mm. Um, in the evening. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. In the evening. Mondays and Wednesdays. On. On, Monday. on Mondays and Wednesdays. Very good. Let's see on the next one. What time do you get up? In, in, in the, morning. the morning. On week. On weekdays. On weekdays. Very good. Yeah. I get up at, at, at nine. Eight. At nine. Yeah. At and eight. Nine. <laughs> eight. Mm. In every day. Every day. Every day uses a prepositional uh, place? No. No. No, no right? No. You don't use anything with every day. You don't need a preposition of place. It's, you don't you don't use a preposition of time. Add in on. No. Do you have English class the morning? In, 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 the, in the morning, the right? In the morning. No, I have English. <laughs> At, 1.30. At, at, at 1.30, the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. On, on Thursday. On okay. twiz, Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesday and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. on, Monday. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, our class is? At three. At three, right? Good. It was difficult. It was difficult, but not impossible, right? It was difficult, but it was not impossible. Very good, right? Teacher, yes. Can you please send to the last uh, picture, please? To okay. The WhatsApp? Okay, I am going to do it right now. I am going to. Okay, let me just print screen this one. There we go. And I think it's this one, the one that you need. This one. Yes. Ah. Yes. OK, Please. I am going to send it to you right now. Let me see. Ahí donde aparecen todos. OK, here I go. I am going to send it to you. So, very good. I am going to send you this one and I am going to send you this one as well. Because, let me see. What is it? The one that we studied yesterday. Let me see. No, it's, this is the conversation. This one. I am going to send you this one. Yes. Because it has the specific things that you use with at, in, and on. Okay, so that's for you not to forget in which cases. At is for precise time, right? At is for precise time. At 10, 11, 12, 8, 7 in the morning. In is for months, years, decades, and seasons. And on is for days and dates, right? On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, right? We need to remember that very well for us not to forget it, right? Remember the way we use it, right? At, in, and on. Now, 
we are going to go and continue working. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Angelica. Hello. Okay, let's continue. We are going to work here. I have a little practice for all of you. This is what we did yesterday, right? This was the last exercise that we did yesterday with the sentences. I have questions for you. Let me see. Questions with do and does, right? But in this case, we're going to practice only with do. How do you answer the questions with do? Yes or no? right, if you have questions with do. If I ask, for example, Angelica, Angelica, do you live with your parents? No, I don't. No, I, I don't. live with my husband. Very good. Let me see. Uh, Marvin, do both your parents work? Do both of your parents work? The microphone, please. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, the significance both? Ambos. Ambos. Uh, uh, do both of do your both. parents work? No. No, they don't. No, no they don't. Let's see. Uh, Elmer, do you watch television at night? Yes, I I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Rodrigo, do you eat dinner with your family? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Brenda, do you work on Saturdays? Brenda, do you work on Saturdays? I lost Brendita. Mado goes on. <laughs> yes. Brendita a la una, Brendita a la dos, Brendita a las tres. No answer from Brendita. Uh, let's see. Mr. Salvador, do you work on Saturdays? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay, let's see. Eh, I have a 50370. ¿Quién es? <laughs> Modo vigilante on. Who are you? Okay. Let's see. Eh, Mr. Elmer, do you eat dinner with your family? Yes, I do, teacher. Mr. Marvin, do you work on Saturdays? <laughs> With the sadness in your face, it's like, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. You say, good. So according to this, we have different schedules and different things that we do every day. Now, we are going to practice a little bit of reading. On the reading, we are going to have three different schedules from three different people who work in different things, right? Here on the reading moment, we are going to analyze, we are going to practice, and we are going to actually put into uh, work the intonation and the development of the reading skills in each of you. Here I have, uh, just give me one second, please. Sorry, I have a lot of noise here. I have Brittany, Joshua, and what is the last person? Ma. Maya. Maya. Okay, Brittany, what is her profession? College student. She's a college student. What about Joshua? He's a... A website designer. Design 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 and Maya Black, she's rock a musician. She's a rock musician, right? She's a rock musician. 
rat the, fir musician. the first thing we are going to do is to analyze the three readings. And I need you to look for new words or new vocabulary, okay? Look for new words or new vocabulary and you can tell me, teacher, what is the meaning of, and you ask me the word, okay? Analyze the three of them and look for new words or new vocabulary. Words that you don't know or that they are new for you. Headly. What is your? Headly. Okay. Headly. Ah, it's casual. It's casual. It's casual. Uh, it's casual. It's casual. Uh, I am going to explain them to you in a moment. It's casual. That's the first one. It's it's casual, casual means horario. What's your schedule like? Good. Great. Thank you. Any other one? Any Noon other? dijo que era hasta la noche. Noon. Where is it? BD. Uh, um, Brittany, David. Brittany. Ah, they oh, end yeah. at noon. At noon, noon is mediodía. Noon. is the middle of the day. Midnight is medianoche, Midnight. right? Midnight is medianoche, but noon is mediodía. Okay. Any other one? Mm. Around, teacher. Around, around. Let's see. Around, around, around. Joshua, Joshua Burns. Joshua Burns. Uh, ah, uh, around uh, one. Alrededor. Alrededor de la una. Another one. On the last one, no questions? Mm. No. No. Okay, so no I am going to go over the reading. I need you to listen to me because you are going to use this one later. It says, Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight. Around one, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? And let me just erase this. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. And Maya Black. She's a rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. So that is the schedule of these three people. Go with me and read. What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? What do you What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? What's, What's your, your schedule, schedule, schedule like? like? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. 
Like, My what's your start? 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 They, they end, end at noon. noon. Then I have a job at the library. Then I have a job, job, job at the library. library. At the library. Library, no, right? At the library. Library. The library. So when do you study? So when do you study? When do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. My only My time, time to study is to 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 from eight until midnight. Study, 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 study. No existe. Study. Study. The next one. What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at six thirty a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. Well, well, I get up at 30 hours. I get up at 30 Beautiful breakfast. Before. Before. Before, right? How do you go to work? How, How do you go to, to work? I work at home. I work at home. home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. I start work. I work. I take, take a lunch break. How late do you work? How late, How late, late do, you work? do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Number three. What's your schedule like? What your what schedule, your schedule like? like? I work at night. I, I work, work at, at night. night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. I go to, to work, 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 work and I play until 3 a.m. I play until 3 a.m. 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 3 a.m. because 3 a.m. <laughs> it's not possible, right? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. A.m. The next one. What what do you do after work? What do you what do, do, you what do, you do after work? work? I have dinner. I have dinner. I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? What, what time, time do you go, go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. I, I go to I bed, go to bed in the morning. morning. I go to bed at five in the morning. Okay. Pronunciation I, I, difficulties. ¿Qué palabra les cuesta pronunciar? Schedule. 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 Right. Schedule. Good. Yes. Another one. Before. 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 Excellent. Um, let me see what was the other one. Ah, evening. Evening. Midnight. Evening. Midnight. 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 A schedule. A schedule. 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 Okay. Schedule. So, schedule. 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 Don't say es ketchup no right schedule 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 it's very similar to es ketchup but no it's not like that you say schedule 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 okay Rodrigo en company no sé eh, si me ayudan a cambiar el nombre al que tiene 50370 no sé quién es porque no tiene nombre Modo furtivo on. <risa> modo, ajá. Modo sospechoso on. Anónimo. <risa> uh, anonymous. Ok, who is it? 
Who's this one? Okay, here I go. We are going to see who, who is the, the secret character here. Let's see, let's see. Uh huh. Todo es un misterio. ¿Quién es? Bueno, ya va a ir a trabajar con Rodrigo. Rodrigo, so you are going to work in number one. Uh, let me see. I have here. Okay, I'm going to include. Okay, I have here. Eduardo, I am going to move you to room number one. Eduardo and Rodrigo, you have number one. That it's Brittany Davis. Angelica and Brenda, number two. Joshua Burns. Elmer and Marvin, number three. Maya. Jairo and Salvador is number one. Okay? I need you to practice the different sentences. I need you to practice the different uh, reading because when you come back, you are going to read for the group, okay? You are going to read the conversation and the interaction for the group. I am going to send you to work in mini groups right now for you to practice. Lo voy a enviar a los grupos para que practiquen la lectura y cuando volvamos, la vamos a leer para todos. No nos podemos equivocar, okay? So please, Practice the pronunciation. If you have any question, ask me, okay? Si tienen dudas de pronunciación, pregunte. I am going to go right now. Eduardo and Rodrigo, number one, Brittany. Angelica and Brenda, Joshua. Elmer and Marvin, Maya. Jairo and Salvador, Brittany, okay? Okay. Ya se los envié al WhatsApp. Let's go to the groups right now. Gerardo, Gerardo, my God, you were there in, in, in the incognito mode. It was Eduardo. There you go. Go to the groups and practice. So right now, my students are going to practice the reading. This is going to be very helpful for them to improve their pronunciation and fluency. So I am going to allow them some minutes for them to practice by themselves. And then I am going to go to visit each of the groups to see how they are developing the reading. And if they have any question about pronunciation, I am going to allow some minutes for them to uh, practice and work. And we are going to go and visit the first group. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Gerardo. <laughs> now I know that you are the one. Andaba de incognito. Teníamos que practicar. Yeah. Teníamos que practicar lo que usted estaba colocando ahí o las preposiciones. No, 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 no. The reading. The reading. Number one. You were assigned, let me see, number one, it was... Ah, oh, sí, ya cayeron, ya cayeron, ya cayeron. Yes, ya cayeron, ya cayeron. there you go. It was Brittany. Yes. Sí, no sé, a mí no, no me cayeron, pero quizás no estoy en el grupo. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I send it to you right now in the group. Sí, you, me yes. There you have. The first one that you are going to practice is Brittany Davis. That is the one that you need to practice. No sé si me puede agregar al grupo porque no estoy en el, no me cayó. Eh, okay. Nada. Eh, okay. In the, in the email that you receive with the information about the class, there is the link for you to join the group. Because eh, if not, 
you can send me your number and I, I know, I don't think I cannot add you to the group. Okay. Sí, creo que sí, solo usted se puede añadir, no lo puedo añadir yo. Sí, tenés, okay. metete desde el teléfono, metete el correo y ahí te dice que te puedes añadir al grupo. Yes. Okay. Ya, yeah. en, las, en las generalidades que le enviaron. Ahí está. Sí, listo. Yeah. There you go. I am going to resend the image to the group. Okay? There you go. I resend the image for you to practice. Group, you need to practice Brittany Davis. Okay? Go ahead. Practice because right. later on you are going to go oh, and read for the group. Group, practice. ¿Quién va a decir lo de Brittany? Yo. I'm going to go decir lo de Brittany. Go ahead. And go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take lunch break. How late do you work? How late? How late? How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Okay. okay. When you say I work at home, I start work at eight. Around one, I take a lunch break. Okay, practice again. I'm um, okay. no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Bye, perfect. What, what? Excellent, man. Yes, okay, Elmer. Elmer, you okay. have your hand up. Tiene la manita okay. levantada. <laughs> Elmer, yes. go ahead. Practice. Uh, I need what's your schedule like? Sorry, oh, sorry. One, one moment, please. One moment, okay. one moment. Don't worry, okay. don't worry. Okay, okay. What is your schedule I like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. At five in the morning. Very good job. Practice for the last time and we're going to go back to the class. Okay. okay. From eight until midnight. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Can you practice? <laughs> Can you practice for me to listen? Okay. Si quiere inicio, Salvador. Okay, perfecto. Usted. Ah, okay, okay, perfecto yo. What's your, what's your uh, schedule like? My class start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your class end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So we, do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Okay, so you say, Teacher, so, uh -huh. teníamos duda cómo se pronunciaba esa palabra. When? Until. Ah, okay. Until. It says, so when do you study? That is a question. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Until. Until. Casi yes. como until. Se yeah, until. Until. Okay. So you say, so when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Until midnight. Yes. Okay. Practice for the last time because we are going to go okay. back to the groups. Okay. Okay. Uh, Uh, 
Hello, Luis. Hello, Elmer. Hello. <laughs> okay, we were practicing a little bit of reading on the different groups. Ven, vengo llegando, teacher. I uh, know, I know. Uh -huh. Estamos practicando lectura en grupos. Okay. So we're going to practice together. Okay. Okay, welcome back, my dear students. Welcome back. And this is what we were doing in the different groups, okay? Group number one is going to be in charge of reading first, okay? Group number one, it's uh, Eduardo, Gerardo, and Rodrigo. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what, what's your short life? Schedule. 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 Classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take a bus to the school. <laughs> Rodrigo, <Thanks>. Eduardo, <laughs> who's going to continue? <laughs> No, okay, I'm in pausa. What happened? When do your <clears throat> class end? They are noon. Then I have a job at 11. So when do you study? My only time to study is the evening from the 8 until midnight. Very good job. Thank you, my dear students. Great job. Angelica, Brenda, go ahead. Number two. Okay. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Very good job. Very good job, ladies. Let's go with Elmer and Marvin. Okay, what's your schedule like? I work at night. I want to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have a dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Excellent, very nice reading, great job. And Jairo in Salvador, go ahead. In this Salvador. Salvador. Salvador, Salvador. <laughs> what do it get to like? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your class end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So we do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. Very good, just remember. So when do you study? Very good job on the reading section, my dear students, very nice. You have improved a lot. So now that you remember the information, this is a little exam for all of you. Todos leyeron las lecturas, ¿verdad? Todos leyeron las actividades y todos leyeron cómo iba todo. What is the order of activities for Brittany? Don't go on the reading, okay? No, what is the first activity? She gets up, then what is the second activity that she does? She takes a walk. She takes a she walk? Takes the, bus. the bus. She takes the bus? Okay, I am going to, to obey you. Uh -huh. What is the next activity? She goes to class. 
She goes to class. Uh -huh. she, works. she works. She works. She works, works and they study. She she studies. Studies. And she studies. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. With Brittany. Uh, she goes to classes, she takes the bus, she uh, goes to work, then she study at midnight. Then so the information was not really bad in the end, right? She gets up, she takes the bus, then she goes to classes, then she works the and bus. then she studies, right? We have to change when she takes the bus. What about Joshua Burns? What is the first activity that Joshua does? He gets up. Get up. He gets Get up, up, right? Yeah. For sure, he gets up. <laughs> si no, no hace ninguna de las demás, ¿verdad? Eh? He gets up. What is the next he one? Goes, he goes, he goes for a run. run. He goes for a run. He has, he has some breakfast. breakfast. He has, he breakfast. has breakfast. He starts he work. Start to work. He starts work and he eats lunch. What about Maya? What are the activities for Maya? What is the first activity that Maya does? She goes to work. She goes to work, right? She goes to work then Uh, yeah. fin she has, she finished she has, work. Oh, she finishes work, right? For sure. Then she has dinner. She has dinner. She goes home. She goes home. She goes home. Uh, and she goes to bed, right? That is the uh, order of activities that this person does. Good. So Talking about you, I need one volunteer. I need one volunteer to tell me about his or her daily activities. What is your schedule like? Who can tell me about his or her schedule? ¿Quién me podría decir su horario, su horario del día? What do you do? I can give you my example. Wait, if you tell me, teacher, what's your schedule like? Well, I get up at five in the morning, I take a shower. Then I organize the things for my kid and I take him to kindergarten. I go to work, I work, I eat lunch, I work, <laughs> I come back home. I prepare, I prepare dinner, I eat dinner and I work. And after work, I sleep. That's my schedule. What do you do in your normal day? What is a normal day in your life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Normal, what is that? You say? <laughs> what is a day in the life of Gerardo? Uh, my schedule is uh, I get up at uh, 7 a.m. I go to the world. Uh, uh, H I M e Yo almuerzo. I eat lunch. I eat lunch. I eat lunch uh 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. finish the work at 7 p.m. E I get my house at 9 p.m. You get to your house at 9 p.m., then you study with teacher Nati, and then you sleep. <laughs> okay, that's good. What is a day in the life of Brenda? What is a day in the life of Brenda? Perdimos a Brenda, no, no. She's here. Brenda, hello. Si ven a Brenda, me la mandan. Ok. <laughs> yeah, se fue. Jairo, yeah. what is a day in the life of Brenda? Of Brenda? <laughs> well, 
She comes to classes and she disappears. That's a day in the life of, of Brendita. Brendita, where are you? We love you. Jairo, what is a day in the life of Jairo? I get up at 6 a.m. I take a shower. Uh, I prepare the breakfast for my son. Um, I go to to the kinder or what uh -huh. is it? Um, to the kinder? I don't know how to do this. To the, the day, okay. The kinder, kindergarten yeah. is the normal. The daycare center daycare. is there. There you go. That's guarderia. Yeah. At the daycare center, <clears throat> and I uh, return from my house. And I work. Uh, I take a lunch, mm -hmm. and then I work. <laughs> and, uh, and then I go to the daycare center for for my son. Mm -hmm. To pick, son, pick, pick up my son, you say to pick up my son. Uh -huh. To pick up my son and return to my house at uh, 6 p.m. And I take a dinner. Mm -hmm. I study English. Good. And then I watch a, a movie or TV show. And some, and a lot of day, I work after the class. My goodness, what do you do? For, ex for example, yesterday <laughs> and this day, I work. Oh my God, and what do you do? Where do you work? i a computer engineer. Ah, that's why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are a computer engineer, so you have yeah. to program a lot. And and I work for a company to, this company's partner of Claro. Oh my God. Yeah, you have a lot, a lot of work, yeah. right? I understand a lot your of work life. At night. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. sorry, may God be with you. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jairo. So you see, we have different days and we have different activities. And for sure, every single day is different. Anyone else who wants to share his or her schedule? ¿Hay alguien más que quiera compartir su eh, daily schedule? Take the best opportunity to practice. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Me? Okay, go ahead, Marty. I get up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. I take a shower. And I take a breakfast. I go to the war. Uh, 6 and 30 a.m. Uh -huh. And I eat lunch at 1 p.m. Okay. I finish my work at 6 p.m. I return my home at the 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I take a dinner. I study class English at 9 p.m. Yeah, I got to sleep at 10 and 30 p.m. Okay, at 10.01, right? A la 10 y uno. <laughs> I got to sleep. Okay, very good job. So, yeah, no, 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 no. Ahí no hemos terminado. We haven't finished. So it is important, right? When you say at 8 a.m. or at 8 in the morning, I study English or I study English class or I have an English class, right? When you share your schedule. Okay, my dear students, we are going to finish the day with a couple of questions. I have here a couple of questions for you. And we have, what do you do on weekdays? What do you do on weekends? What do you do on Friday nights? And what do you do on Sunday mornings? I need you to answer these four questions in your notebook, please one activity that you do on each of these days. I need you to write the answer on your notebook. What sleep, do you do? Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> I sleep, I sleep, I sleep, and I sleep the rest. Yes. And if I, I don't need, finish, I continue. <laughs> yes, I need to 
How do you say reponer? Recharge. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You need to recharge. I need to recharge energy. Okay, you need to recharge the energies. Angelica Reyes, what do you do on weekdays? I go to work and I cook the dinner every oh, day. You go to work and you cook dinner every day, right? Yes. Let's see, Jairo, what do you do on weekends? Sleep, watch <laughs> TV, or watch uh, TV show. Okay, I sleep, I watch TV, or I watch TV shows. Good. Uh, let me see. Luis Gonzalez, what do you do on Friday nights? Okay, on Friday nights, I uh, first uh, I have a, a cl English class. On Friday? On Friday, we don't have classes. <laughs> <laughs> Me solo, comandico el viernes. <laughs> uh, solo un viernes tuvimos. El viernes solo. pasado, sí. <laughs> el viernes pasado. El viernes pasado, sí. Okay. But the next Friday is free. I am going to give you vacation. So what okay. are you going to do? Next Friday uh, in the night, uh, I come uh, for my work at uh, 5 p.m. Uh -huh. and, then, and then I take dinner. Okay, you take dinner. Let and me then I play my kid, my son. Okay. And, and then sleep. And then you will sleep. Gerardo, okay. what do you do on Sunday mornings? I see my girlfriend. You see your girlfriend on Sunday mornings. Good. Yeah. To go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Para ir a la iglesia, ¿verdad? <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I say probably, probably. Good. Mr. Marvin, what do you do on Friday nights? On Friday night, I'm, I watch the movie. You watch movies. Very good. Let me see. Uh, Mr. Elmer, what do you do on Sunday mornings? Uh, Sunday morning, I go to play soccer all day. You go to play soccer. Salvador, yeah. what do you do on weekends? What do you do? Uh, I work. You work? Yeah, me too. <laughs> let's <Yeah>. see. <laughs> Rodrigo, what do you do on, let me see, on Friday nights? Mr. Rodrigo? Go to the party. You go the phone, to the, the party. Under the, the, the party. I go to <laughs> sleeping now. I go to the gym. He goes to the gym. You see, he, he's sleeping. He goes to the gym on Friday nights. Okay, so just a little introduction for tomorrow. We are going to uh, talk about the different parts of the house. So I need you please to investigate vocabulary about the parts of the house for tomorrow. That is going to be our topic of the day. We are going to study the topic of the parts of the house. That is going to be for tomorrow. So please, I need you to study and to investigate a little bit about this. Because tomorrow we are going to be talking about this topic, right? We are going to talk about the parts of the house. And just to introduce the topic for tomorrow, I am going to ask you a question. Do you live in a small house or do you live in a big house? I live in medium house. In a me house. medium size. Medium, medium size. Okay, Jairo? Mm, a small house. In a small house. Gerardo? A small house. Luis? I think uh, small. Elmer? A small house. Salvador? Uh, it's a small house. Uh, Angelica? Um, medium size. In a medium size. Uh, Eduardo? 
small house. A small house. And Rodrigo? Gerardo vive en la playa. Ahí, ahí, <laughs> en arena, ahí a la parte de un rancho. Yeah, oh my God. You live in a small house, Rodrigo. Medium. In a medium size. Gerardo, where do you live? Where? No, no, ¿dónde vive? Se le cortó. Se nos cortó la, se la quedó comunicación. Fish. Gerardo, se nos cortó la comunicación. No, no, no. Ah, oh, where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? Uh, I live in La Libertad. In La Libertad, but not next to the beach, right? No. no. <laughs> No, no, en el tunco. En, en el tunco. A 100 no. me, metros, pero no, 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 no. Ni <risa> Eric de Saltepeque. Ok, good. Very good. ¿Quién no, es que vive en la playa? He lives near de Saltepeque, right? That's ¿Quién era el que vive en la playa? Iván. Es parte de la libertad. O sea, yeah, estoy en el lado donde colinda la libertad y que Saltepeque. Ah, so the beach is very far from there. Ok. El patio de la casa, la playa. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Mañana nos vamos a enterar si tiene playa ahí a la parte de la casa. Have a beautiful <laughs> night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.